Hi everyone, welcome to Babylon TV. So we will be discussing a different format here. We will start with the stars. So the stars, which are the stars, the fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, right? For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading. So fire signs. If you want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color, that's dated March the 22nd to the um, last day of the month, the 31st. Follow me on Instagram. If you also want to know your financial forecast, follow me on Instagram as well. If you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. Then subscribe to the other channel. That is Timeless Tarot 111 also in the description box. And if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So fire signs, your first line of cards for the month of April. That would be the Queen of Fire, which is your card, the thoughts, you know. This is the tenth, the, f the sixth, and the journey. So fire sign, I can see here that passion is always with you. You know, the burning desire are always with you. <clears throat> with this, let's say, you having this idea, um, probably you are wanting to, let's focus first on the romance because all of you in the romance, I will check the romance, finances, and health, okay? And the romance. Um, is there something that you want to try, you want to do? It felt like you've been, you're holding it for quite a long time, right? You would really love to do it, but you're kind of holding it back a bit. Um, well, I can see here you're going to prosper. It is a quite journey. Let's say you want to speak with your person. You want to demand a commitment no. challenges of course there's no perfect um relationship here but i can see here with the journey you know i can sense here that it is quite a meaningful journey for you and your person something in you with the knowledge integrity with a seven of fire the self and a six of earth you know To you, honesty is your great, you know, th that is the most important thing to you. You know, if, if people is going to take advantage of that or going to lie to you, you're out, right? I think that you also have learned something. Let's say, because the self here, your person here is holding back their emotion. That is true. They're holding back their emotions to you. But you know for a fact that they have a feelings, right? But when you ask them, when you ask your person, they're going to tell you otherwise. So that's kind of, wait, this is not what I felt. Your intuitions are very heightened. You might want to ask your person here, 
what's the tea right what's the real deal between us because for me i am feeling a lot more you know i'm feeling a lot more than what you are showing well i can see where there's control in them probably they're doubting that they can handle you they can handle their relationship um they're doubting themselves if they're ready you know to be in a committed relationship probably you might be having this situation where in your person kind of like in uh in out in out or on and off in this connection you're also wondering why my person is sometimes cooperative with me sometimes sweet and then the next day you know your person is cold you know you don't know it is because they are also confused within themselves but you are certain here that you have a burning desire to put this connection into another level this is quite a journey quite a journey this coming april you know but i can see here you are not giving up your person may lie to you you know about their feelings but their action can't you know their actions can't and even their words you know they just can't accept the fact that they can fall in love this intense you know for a few numbers of you <clears throat> i can see here for those who just um let's say just broke up you're focusing yourself you know you're focusing your entire energy to yourself your person here kind of let's say reaching out but you are isolating yourself it is because this is not the time for you to make amends not time for you to reach out it is because probably you're not hearing the honesty right you're just hearing okay i'm sorry sorry for what right sorry for what you want to you want your person to apologize to you but they know they should know what they did right not just because because sorry is easy right apology is easy but the question is do you understand the the damage right because for me right for me i'm speaking as a fire sign for me saying sorry is cheap right you can always apologize to me however if you know right if you know the damage that it caused me for sure if you apologize you will you know that it won't going to happen again or else right or else there will be another story for this um as of the moment you are not ready yet to talk to your person your honest all your honesty is very important to you the thought here for a few numbers of you who's really separated here probably you're thinking that okay this is no longer going to work because my person here is still mingling with people um trying to connect with people you know um going on a dating side partying and i'm losing hope for a few numbers of you you're losing hope because your person is not reciprocative but i can see here a celebration tower moment is happening and no one can escape this tower moment but little do you know the four of wands is here so which means stability contract right um moving this connection to another level moving this connection to the destiny the destination where you want this to be proposal marriage is here um let's clarify here this one the lovers mm. 
for a few numbers of you, you know for a fact that you are connecting with your twin flame. You really have a soul bond here. And you know that this is not easy, right? But I can see here, without you even lifting a finger, they're going to communicate. That is true. They're the ones going to communicate. But their communication still have, you know, a pinch of, a pinch of pride, a pinch of control. So just be careful with that. Although I can see here, because of your passion, because of your desire, because of your knowledge what this relationship is, what's important to you is honesty. You have this intuition, right? The intuition is very heightened. You can also smell, you know, danger from your person if they're doing it. So trust that intuition. Because of that, you're going to put this connection or you're going to travel this connection into the destination where you want this to be like the journey, like what I mentioned, right? So I saw angel number 1111. Comment down below what's angel number 1111 means. For those who's new to the tower reading, um, you will be helped by your fellow fire sign who's OG. So those OGs here, please comment down so that your fellow fire sign knows what angel number 1111 means. So when it comes to finances and career, you know, I can see here if you're also thinking to put your money, your pentacles to business, it is quite a journey, right? Um, it, it's kind of like really you are gambling. But I can see here that your success, your abundance is here. Just be careful with people who's going to take advantage of you. That's true. There are people who surra um, who's surrounding you um, who will see here trying to catch, you know, too good to be true. Trying to catch because you're, you're, you're the person who's a lot of integrity. They're going to show you. Um, integrity for you know a few tests you're going to test them but be careful with that you know I can see here that that is a person who can easily take advantage of you right be careful with your be keen with the observation be keen with your surroundings with the knowledge here I can sense that, especially when it comes to your health, right? When it comes to your health, you're going to seek for a professional, whatever it is that you're feeling, whether it is a medical health, you know, including mental, what have you, or spiritual health. You're going to ask, and I can see here asking for professional health is necessary for you to achieve this journey just be careful here with let's say i can see here veins um you might probably um feeling this poke in your lungs right so you have to be you, you have to check for that um professional health you know I hope that it's not the pandemic you know the virus that is going on but that is a different thing but also ask still ask for professional health here and kind of like you know the pinching of needles at the back that's what I'm um, seeing here be careful with your heart please um, fire sign so this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can be you can um, ask a personal reading with me or you can book a personal reading with me if you ha are okay with the questions and you just have a question or two there's a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading 
so thank you so much for watching fire signs love and light to you namaste see you on the next video goodbye